Okay, so let's explore the frequency analysis attack. So what is frequency analysis? Basically, the frequency analysis is a uh, technique uh, by which we are kind of studying the repetition of certain uh, characters in a particular text. And then based on that, we actually go and find out some kind of pattern into that. And then we try to replace it. And then we try to generate uh, or we, we try to break a particular crypto systems. This particular frequency analysis attack, if you remember correctly, uh, we, we discussed when we were discussing the substitution cipher as well, right? So this particular frequency analysis attack is more applicable uh, for the substitution cipher and plain simple substitution cipher. Let me try to explain you how this particular attack actually happens, right? So we already know uh, in a substitution cipher, what we do, we actually go and uh, change, we go and substitute the characters there in the plain text when generating a cipher text. How it is done? Maybe because the uh, alphabets which were used, they are moved to certain pattern. Like for example, we move it by three places or by four places. And that is where you can see this formula, right? Uh, x plus 4 that means we are substituting the characters by four places into the alphabet the english alphabet has 26 characters and we replaced uh, for example a will turn into d as simple as that right so this is where uh, for example we have this plain text here then uh, the resulting cipher text is this one uh, you can see the i has turned into m right four characters and like that all the characters has been changed by four characters there and we generate the cipher text now in english language as you know right few characters are repeated more than others and we are uh, making use of the same uh, thing here attacker make use of the same thing and try to generate some kind of pattern for that there is some kind of uh, cryptanalytical uh, mathematics which is there uh, which was brought in by Robert uh, Lowland uh, and that is where you can see this. So in a typical English text this is the frequency of repetition of the characters. It is just like half uh, there is a complete table until z and here for the demonstration purpose I have see I have put up only few okay and then you will analyze a particular cipher text and will will count the number of repetitions for a particular character and then based on that you are going to evaluate okay this is the ideal one what we have in the english language and this is what we have in the particular cipher text okay and then you make use of some automated tools like this which you see on your screen it is one of the automated tool uh, wherein you just have to swap a few letters you have to choose from here uh, one by one and then based on that uh, your your cipher text will give you the resulting plain text okay it may not be uh, accurate at the first place it is a kind of trial and error so you keep on changing those characters one by one and then uh, you actually generate uh, you you want to come closer to somewhere like this actually right so this is the ideal one and then when you uh, change uh, those characters uh, by replacing through an automated tool you are going to come back near to it somewhere okay uh, you, you want to come back near to that uh, somewhere and that is what it's uh, it gives us okay so in this what is happening is there is an ideal typical english text and we are trying to come closer to that because uh, that is where the paragraph will make more sense uh, for anybody right so this is what is done uh, in a frequency analytic attack okay in this few things we have to assume right First and foremost, the attacker should gain access to the cipher text. First requirement. Second requirement is know the language. Generally, it is done for the English language. Uh, 
I, I'm not sure if it is available for other languages as well, but because English is widely used, uh, that is why uh, we are assuming that the particular plain text and the cipher text is into the English language, right? So just to, it's a very high level, I would say, an idea about how the frequency analytics attack happens, okay? You don't need to get into so much of detail only understand that we are making use of the uh, most frequently used characters and based on that we are trying to find out some pattern to find out that particular pattern we use some kind of mathematics and some automated tools to actually break this type of crypto systems